Good evening, and welcome to another spooky Wrath of Math lesson. Today, we'll be going over how to find the area of a square from the diagonal. This is a viewer requested video. I always appreciate those viewer requests, so be sure to leave yours down in the comments. In the previous lesson, we went over how to find the diagonal of a square from the area, so today we're just doing the opposite direction, finding the area from the diagonal. This is just a straightforward application of the Pythagorean theorem, so I certainly recommend you give it a try yourself before watching the rest of the video. Now that I've unsheathed sheathed my hand so that I can have friction with the marker, let us begin this quick lesson. So let's draw a square and or something approximating a square and the situation is we have the diagonal which maybe looks something like that, call that D, and we want to find the area of the square. How would we normally calculate the area of a square? Well, the area a is just equal to the square of the side length of the square. And recall that all sides of a square have the same length. So we might say that the sides of this square have a length s, so then the area of the square is just s squared. So if we want to find the area, but we don't know the side length, but we do know the diagonal, then we need to find a relationship between the diagonal and the side length of the square. Thankfully, we can do that easily by using the Pythagorean theorem, because this, for example, right here, is a right triangle, and so is this, but we'll just look at this one down here. Because remember, the four angles of a square are right angles, so this is certainly a right triangle. And what does the Pythagorean theorem tell us about right triangles? Well, it tells us that the sum of the square squares of the leg lengths of a right triangle, say that again, the sum of the squares of the leg lengths of a right triangle, so in this case, these are the legs of our right triangle, so the sum of those squares, s squared plus s squared, is equal to the square of the hypotenuse. Our hypotenuse is the diagonal of the square, which is d, and so the Pythagorean theorem tells us that s squared plus s squared is equal to d squared. Beautiful. Now, s squared and s squared, those are like terms, so we can combine those and rewrite the equation as 2s squared equals d squared. Then, we might divide both sides of the equation by 2 to give us that s squared is equal to the diagonal squared over 2. Again, that's just dividing both sides of that equation by 2. Now, you might be tempted to take the square root of both sides of this equation in order to solve for s. However, remember that s squared is the area of the square. So s squared is what we're really interested in, and we can just stop there. The area of a square is equal to the square of the side length, which we've just shown is equal to the diagonal of the square squared divided by 2. So that's all there is to it. How do you find the area of a square from the diagonal? You just have to square the diagonal and divide by 2. I'm just writing it here again so that we don't have the s squared in the middle. This is what we care about. To find the area of a square from the diagonal, we've just shown by using the Pythagorean theorem, all you've got to do is square the diagonal and divide by 2. And of course, this diagonal is the same as that diagonal, so it doesn't matter which diagonal you know, they both have the same length. And you could show that easily using the side angle side triangle congruence postulate. You could show that both of these diagonals have the same length. All right, now before we go, let's just quickly see an example. Let's say the diagonal of our square, D, and I'll just draw it in red here. The diagonal D, I know it's getting a little cluttered, but we're almost done. Let's say the diagonal has a length of four centimeters. That is our diagonal length. So how do we find the area of the square given that diagonal of four centimeters? centimeters? Well, we just have to square the diagonal, so 4 centimeters squared, and then divide that by 2. 4 centimeters squared is 16 square centimeters. Remember that we have to square the unit, 2, and then divide that by 2, which is equal to 8 square centimeters. 
show the area of a square with a diagonal length of four centimeters is equal to eight centimeters squared. You can find it by just squaring the diagonal and then dividing it by two. So I hope this video helped you understand how to find the area of a square when given the diagonal. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the spookiest map lessons on the internet.